Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't charge me. Santa baby, just slip the sable under the tree. Hello darlings, welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac with Elaine and we are here at the greenhouse. And it's Christmas, Merry Christmas. And I'm here with stylist, fashion designer, Parish, Patricia Parenti. Welcome to the show, darling. Thank you, Miss Cognac. Always wonderful to see you. So tell me, darling, tell me all about uh, the festivities, Christmas. You've been invited to any fabulous parties? Well, actually, last week I came for the opening for Suzanne Bosch's party right here. It was fabulous. Lots of drag queens and beautiful gowns and costumes. Everybody was dressed divine. Everybody was dressed totally funky. Men with great looking suits which were custom designed. No lounging. Everyone was dancing. Everybody was having a good time. It was so nice to be back in the 90s when people dressed still. I know. You, we and both of us talk about that all the time. Yes, we do. And of course you remember Suzanne Bosch from the 80s. Yes. She's a... I do, definitely, because when I emailed Suzanne, I mentioned that I knew her and Kenny, Kenny. Now Kenny still remembers me all the time when he's at the doors, he always lets me in. But Suzanne I haven't really kept in contact with, but she's like, oh, please, please come when I told her who I was. <laughs> She's been a club promoter for so long, and she's done such a great job. And last year we came to her event, Toys for Tots, which is the same event tonight. You know what? You've been, you were at that event last yes, year, right? it was. It was like the most fabulous party of the year. It really was. I mean, the line for the people was wrapped around the block like three times. It was totally ridiculous. Yeah, it was, but Kenny was at the door, so I was right in. I don't even give my name at the list. I'm such known now at the door that the rubber rope opens for me, and that I don't even have to worry if my name's on the list because nobody says, no, I can't come in anymore. I've earned this privilege over the years, but I have. Now, last year, I was, I was privileged to interview so many wonderful people like uh, actor Alan Cummings and of course David Barton, her husband David Barton from David Barton's gym. And also I was thrilled to interview Janice Dickinson. She was at last year's event. Do you think we're going to be seeing uh, some celebrities this year? Yeah, I do, except that it's early and as of last week people came out around 11, 11.30. So I, I know she gets a real celebrity crowd, and there were celebrities last last week, but um, I don't think it's late enough for them to come out. I think they come out later. I, that's just the way people like to make an entrance, and they don't like to be early. Now, of course, darling, of course. Now, Patricia, you are always dressed to the nines. I always love what you're wearing. You always look spectacular every time I see you. Tell my audience, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a sweater from Italy, the silver Lorex leggings, silver boots, um, crystal and rhinestone jewelry. 
a beautiful rhinestone ring. That's a bling. Looks at us and says, why can't I be like that? Well, they kind of, they have the taste, but most don't. Now, tell me, Patricia, you, I, you are a very well-known stylist and designer. What can we expect now for the new season, for the spring season in fashion? I'd say lots of airy, light fabrics like organza, chiffon. Um, a lot of grays and beiges, things like that. Nothing really, a lot of snake, uh, metallic is still back. Nothing really daring or eccentric because of the economy, nobody's doing anything risky. So it's pretty safe collections. Just, uh, I'd say, a lot of neutrals, pastels, really pastels. Pastels, yeah, a lot of pastels. Very light and airy fabrics such as chiffon and organza. Love chiffon. Yeah, and like a lot of lot, um, snake trim. That's all it's about, like suede boots with open toes and wedge heels up to the knee. A lot of boots for spring. I was, boots, yeah, boots. I was just at the shoe show and I saw a lot of suede, like sugar tone boots. With open toe. I see a lot of that. I see a lot of like, uh, 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 like almost a boot, but it's like has an open toe. That seems to be very, very popular. Yes, you're totally right. Yes. It's sort of like a takeoff from the gladiator look. Yeah, I guess sort of. Yeah, I don't think you have a good interpretation. And, uh, they're either very short, like to mid calf or to the knee. That's a big trend going forward in suede and in metallic. Open toe boots with a wedge. I would say you could wear those April, May, June, after that. It's kind of hot, but yeah, it's, I would think it would be too warm to wear that. I'd say through June, or unless you're going out at night to a restaurant or a club. But during the day, I don't know. Well, they wear the Ugg boots in the summer, and I couldn't see that either, so. People tend to follow trends and do monkey see, monkey do. That's what I said. Patricia, tell my audience, what are you going to be up to now for the new year? Do you have any plans for the new year here? Are you going to be working on any new projects? Well, I'm going to be working on a new glove line, and I'm going to be working on selling a lot of vintage. And I hope to get into the uh, print modeling and uh, like extra work. Uh, Five lines and under acting sort of thing. I'm gonna try to switch gears. I'm still designing, um, and I'm gonna be starting a children's fashion show for TV. That sounds exciting. Yeah, that should be fun. We did a runway, sh well, not a runway, but a performance, and now the woman wants to expand and have the show at the Hilton and have a big shebang. She uses local talent right out of Brooklyn, and they're all children in high school or younger. They learn to act and dance, and then they perform for an audience. It's a government-sponsored program that helps children fulfill their dreams without having to spend money. It's a good, good cause. Tell my audience, what's your favorite club here in the city? What do you love? Tell my audience. There's got to be one place that you just love to go to. I guess it would be here because I just love Suzanne Bausch's party so much. And the fact that you can either lounge here or you can dance here and nobody bugs you about bottle service. You're just free to be and I kind of like that. And I like it here because Johnny Dynell is the best DJ in New York City and he plays here. And that's why I like it because I like the music and you can dance. I love Suzanne Bosch's parties. They're exciting, they're sexy, and I had the best time. Tell my audience, darling, what's your website? Oh, www.tenderglovingcare.com. Not loving, but G, gloving. Loving care, yeah. The tendergloveingcare.com. Thank you, Patricia, for telling my audience all the latest news about fashion and style. 
you gonna give me a kiss goodbye, John? We'll be back in a moment, darling, for more celebrity interviews. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in this, this has been a crybaby productions darlings